Okay, so I've decided that I will show you both methods from now on, <laughs> right? So since the last video, I kind of went, oh, okay, I might as well show the algebraic group through as well. Um, so I'm going to do uh, two methods for each one. Uh, method one is going to be doing it graphically. Uh, method two is just going to be doing it wholly algebraically, okay? So uh, we've got 4 over x minus 5 is greatly equal to minus 2. So first thing that I would want to do for method one is I am going to sketch the graph. Okay, so this will have a vertical asymptote at x equals five. Okay, and it's going to look something like this. And it's going to be crossing through the y-axis when x is zero, so that's minus four fifths. And we're looking at y equals minus 2. OK, so I'm interested in finding that point of intersection. So if I multiply, so if I treat it like an equation and multiply it by the x minus 5, so minus uh, 2x plus 10, so we're going to get 2x is equal to 6, so x must be equal to 3. So that point is 3. OK, so where is the graph above or equal to minus 2? Well, it's above it here, so x is less than or equal to 3. Or um, it's above it here when x is greater than 5. So notice the inequalities. Here I am including the 3, but I can't include the 5 because x equals 5 is where you've got the vertical asymptote. Okay, So be careful with that. Right, so let's say I use method 2 now. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x minus 5 squared. OK, so multiply by the denominator squared to make sure you don't flip the inequality symbol. So I'm going to get four lots of x minus 5 on the left hand side is greater than or equal to minus two lots of x minus 5 squared on the right hand side. OK, so I'm going to expand everything out. 4x take away 20 is greater than or equal to. So we've got minus two x squared take away uh, 10x plus 25. So I'm going to have to expand that right-hand side. So minus 2x squared plus 20x minus 50. Move everything onto the left-hand side. So 2x squared. Uh, we've got 4x take away 20x, so minus 16x. And then minus 20 uh, plus 50, so plus 30, is greater than or equal to 0. Divide through by 2, so x squared take away 8x plus 15 is greater than or equal to 0. OK. So then we've got uh, x minus 3, x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. So let's draw our parabola going through 3 and 5. Where is the parabola above or equal to 0? So there and there. So x is less than or equal to 3, or x is greater than or equal to 5. But be careful, OK? This is where you can go wrong using this method, OK? Because x equals 5 can't be part of the solution because x equals 5 causes the denominator to be 0, OK? So x must be greater than 5. Now, that's what can very easily catch you out doing a wholly algebraic method where you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. So you do have to be careful with this method too.